You ready for this? We've, we've done this before. It's been a while, huh? It's a little different. It's been, been a few years. Go ahead.
tunnel. Get in that car. Woo. That's a total winter thing, Minnesota thing. The socks. Well, Minnesota happens in Colorado too. The boots. I don't know. It only happens around Minnesota where the boot, the boots, eat the socks. It's just what happens. Not really. I am glad we did go. It was good to get out of the house for the first time in forever, I feel like. Really, I think we all needed it. Yeah. Yeah, there's some big flakes coming down right now. Yep. You have your coat off. Sorry. Ice castles. There's not a lot, but what there is, it's really cool. As you have seen, the snow's coming down. Yep. Quite the drive home. Shovel more. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. We, are, we made it up the driveway. It just so happens that as soon as I turn off the camera, we make it up. I guess that's just how it goes sometimes. I just shoveled a bit of it and then took another couple runs at it. And it finally, I finally got up. It's not too big of a deal. Uh, just a, like a 15 minute delay from actually getting home. I didn't want to talk about something real quick. This guy, Norton did not go with us today. He is not used to his boots yet. Uh, we got him some shoes. Yeah, we got four of these guys for his little feet. He is not comfortable with them yet. We are working on getting him comfortable with that, training him to like them. Desensitization, you know, because he still, he still does the high leg lift. Yeah, he also pulls them off. So he's not quite ready for outdoor use with them yet. In the ice castles, the, the ground is mostly ice. And it, we were there for a longer period of time. We didn't want his paws to freeze. And it was absolutely cold outside. It was seven degrees before wind chill, so. His paw pads are unprotected in that environment. Well, we kept him home. I know you would have loved to go with. It, he would have actually been helpful there too, just because Braley tends to like to go off on her own in those environments, snowy environments. 
Generally, though, Briley did really good there. Normally, she would be going down to the ground every five seconds to play with the snow, but I think the lights and the ice and stuff was just that much more of a excitement for her than just to stem with the snow. So that was pretty cool to see. She was following directions a lot better, like, hey, come here, stay with us kind of thing. Although she was kind of following other people and just on her own little missions. She did well being like reminded and redirected to come like back to us for the most part. It wasn't so bad. It wasn't very stressful. The first time I we went to the ice castles three years ago, that was a little different story. Let's take a look. She just ran. Yeah, she ran a lot. You're not even supposed to run in these places, but she was more leisurely strolling this time. Hi, Norton. Next year, Norton, you'll probably be used to those boots. I hope so. <laughs> Riley's well already asleep. I say bye a lot. Today, I'm gonna have Stacy say bye to you guys. Bye. Should we get some energy out? I think we should. Let's do this. Go get it. <laughs> Dog zoomies are the best.